Welcome to Activity 65. In this activity, we will be developing fluency, calculating the difference between two two-digit numbers for holes of less than 30. We will also be developing the concept of part, part, whole, finding the difference using addition and checking the difference on a calculator by entering subtraction. To complete this activity, you need two of each bond block from 1 to 10 and a calculator so as you can check your partner. Before we begin, there are some important maths words we need to discuss. For subtraction, we say whole, subtract, part, equals part. So for this part, part, whole diagram, we would say the whole of 4 subtract the part of 3 equals the part of 1. You will notice I never say the big number or the large number subtract the small number because it is possible to start with a lesser number. We can do 3 subtract 4. If we start with the whole of 3 and we subtract a part of 4, we end up less than 0. 1 less than 0. The answer is the part of negative 1. In order to stop students incorrectly writing this, some people say you always put the big number first. This is not true. I want to make that clear as we move on to the concept of difference. When we are comparing two sets, you do place the larger set as the whole. Notice I'm not saying the larger or bigger number. And the smaller set becomes a part. The other part is the difference between the two sets. So in this activity, we are going to have to identify the larger set as the whole, the smaller set as the part, and the difference as the other part. Just be careful you use the word set and don't accidentally say the big number take the small number. Player one goes first. They flick the 10 spinner and the one spinner and they say 10 add 2 equals 12 and they record this in their number spun column. They then need to calculate the difference between these two numbers. If you can do that mentally, great. If you need the blocks, I'm going to show you how to do it. For this example, the greater set is 26, so this becomes the whole. The 12 or number spun is the smaller set or the part we know. We need to find the difference, which is the part we don't know. I'm going to work this difference out by bridging 10. First I'm going to add on 8 and then I'm going to add on 6. And while I'm doing this, I can think 8 add 6 is the same as 10 add 4. So the difference is 14. The player who spins says this equation as an addition. They say part at part equals whole. I will say 14 add 12 equals 26. The other player needs to check this using subtraction. When they enter it in, the difference, the 14, needs to be their answer on the calculator. To enter this in on the calculator, they're going to have to enter the whole of 26, subtract the part we knew of 12, 
equals the part we didn't know or the difference of 14. Player two has their turn and they spin two tens and nine ones. They say 20 add nine equals 29 and they record the number spun in this column. They now have to work out the difference between these two numbers, which is three. I'm going to model this with bond blocks. In this example, the 29 is the larger set or represents the known whole. The target number of 26 is the smaller set or the part we knew. The difference between the two is the part of three. Player two would say 26 add three equals 29. Their partner needs to enter in the calculator a subtraction to get the difference as the answer. To enter this in the calculator, they would start with the larger set and say the whole of 29, subtract the part of 26, and when they push equals, they will get the difference of three. The winner is the player who makes the least difference or the number that's closest to the target number. For this round, player two was the winner, so they circle their score. I'm going to model one final example for player one. If they spun zero tens and nine ones, they say zero add nine equals nine and record this in their spun column. They calculate the difference between these two numbers, which is 8. Use the blocks if you need to for help, or alternatively, sometimes filling in the part-part-whole diagram of the whole of 17, or the larger set, the part I know of 9, and calculating the difference is enough to help you. You could draw jottings, nine, I want to add one, and this gets me to 10, and then I would want to add another seven, and this would get me to 17. And this was the difference, or the part I added on. Now it's your turn.